We are going to discover the secrets of searching the internet efficiently and effectively and pinpoint in this video. We explore the mysterious side of the internet, the 8 layers of the internet. But before we start, if you are new to this channel, welcome to Facts Insight. For more videos such as this one, please visit the channel for insights based solely on facts. So make sure to subscribe and give us a like. Internet, interconnection of network, is used in everything nowadays. We use internet whether to find nearby restaurants, get entertained, communication or find flight timings and so on. Internet usage has increased quickly and is well understood that this trend will never reverse. Many individuals believe that anything we have seen online, including on Google, Bing, Facebook, YouTube is internet. However, the portion of the internet that we normally have access to is known as the surface web, and it's estimated that it accounts for only 4% of all information on the internet. This means there is a lot more on the internet that we don't even bother looking at. In fact, we cannot access them in the same way we access the surface web. The internet is divided into layers, but we only have access to the first one, known as the surface web. What are the 8 layers of the internet? To understand levels, you need to know the little about the deep, dark web, Tor and where it's found. The rules would be the same for all. The higher the level you want to access, the more advanced tools you'll need to go with your increasingly advanced skill set. So, let's start the journey to the mysterious side of the internet. Level 1. The Surface Web The first level is the surface web, also called the visible web. Index Web or Lightnet, which is accessible through normal means. It contains popular sites such as YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Reddit. It is searchable by standard search engines. A few examples of search engines include Firefox, Bing, Google, etc. This stage is accessible by everyone and also the websites offered are free for visits and using too. Although there are also a few paid websites for premium content like premium version of YouTube, Netflix and likewise. Level 2. The Burgi Web This level is the last one normally accessible. All levels after that will have to be accessed with proxy servers, Tor, the Onion Router, or by modifying your hardware. At this level, you can find some underground but still indexed websites, such as 4chan, which is an image board website where users post anonymously. There are few websites like the Kickass Torrents, which is banned in India but can still be accessed by using a VPN. For instance, the US has access to many websites, which at the same time aren't accessible in India, so you can set your VPN to the US and access the content even if it's banned in India. Level 3. The Deep Web The first part of this level can be accessed by using a proxy. It contains a CP, core, hacking websites. Here begins the deep web. The deep web is the entire internet that cannot be found by regular search engines, 96% of the web. The second part of this level is only accessible through Tor, the Onion Router, which is a browser using which you can connect to a website in such a manner that your connection is bounced off, like a bouncer ball of relays in the Tor network. Thus the websites can't know who you are and your privacy is secured. So basically to access it you need a lot of encoding and decoding skills. The links to this are divided into the source code and then you should translate it into the binary language and you're in the deep web. Level 4. Charter Web This level is also divided into two parts. The first part can be accessed through Tor and is the most accessed part of the deep web. Things such as drugs and human trafficking, banned movies around the world and books and black markets exist there. It also contains hidden Wikilinks, which is the first website you visit trying to get into the deep web. This is like the deep website, which further provides infinite links to other deep web pages or sites. The further you start going at it, the more restrictive and private the site becomes. They start asking for registration IDs, passwords, sometimes credit and debit card details, for you to make payments for entering the site. In the second part, Tor browsers are not able to reach there, so there is a special method to reach this level, called Closed Shell System. Here things become serious. This part of the Charter Web contains hardcore child pornography, experimental hardware information, gadolinium gallium garnet quantum electronic processors, but also darker information, such as the low of 13, the experiments done in World War II, and even the unknown location of Atlantis and supercomputers and AI. At this level, you can buy drugs, guns and things you can't find in the local market around you. Although this isn't easy, to get there is a very big deal. 
On level 5, Mariana's Web. The Mariana Trench or Mariana's Trench is located in the Western Pacific Ocean, about 200 kilometers east of the Mariana Islands. It contains the deepest known points on Earth, vents bubbling up liquid sulfur and carbon dioxide, active mud volcanoes and marine life adapted to pressure thousand times that at sea level. It is one of the most dangerous levels known so far. The name of this fifth level is taken from the deepest hole in the world, Mariana Trench. Based on the research, this place may or may not exist. However, based on the most common consensus, this is the place where most secure data is. The most common Mariana's web would be the military networks where the most secure data resides. To access the Mariana web, you have to face some kind of algorithm and calculations that can be done with the computer. For this, you have to work on a quantum computing, secret algorithms and calculations. One of the rumors that you can access the Mariana's web with the help of the polymeric phallical derivation, which requires quantum computers. Quantum computing is not publicly available because of its needs some extreme functions to work so a normal person can surf. Mariana's web is the weird, perplexing web secret. There is no solid proof of its existence, so it's depending on which rumors you believe. As per research till now, there is no one that has visited this web. Layer 6 this layer is the mediator between Mariana's web and level 7. This layer is the intermediary between Mariana's web and level 7, which is also called the fog or virus soup. It is a level that exists for the sole purpose of being one. At this point, a person starts getting the attention they don't want. Example, people come to kill you. It might sound very dramatic, but this is the truth. There are things in this world that can only lie among people themselves like drug lords and human traffickers. And once they know that you are aware of their work, your life is at risk. This might sound unreal, but it is happening. You need quantum computing to get past the sixth layer, and this is where things get tough. The seventh layer is where the big players are. They are all trying to stop each other. There are hundreds of millions or billions dollar operations gunning for control. The fog, virus soup. This level is like a war zone. Every other person is trying to reach the next level. This is basically like a fight between people trying to overthrow the other for having only the power of the internet in the world. Whoever has reached this level is trying to do one of two things. Either reach level 8 or stop the others from reaching it. They try to prevent others from reaching level 8 in whatever way necessary. The seventh layer is called the fog or virus soup. Because the entire thing is full of so many infinite codes to try and ruin other people poking around in there. Code, 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 and code is what you will find at this level. In simple words, everyone is fighting to keep others out because of the value of the systems below. Level 8 the Primark System. This is the last level of the web. It is just too downright insane. Level 8 is impossible to access directly or even by quantum computers. The Primark System is the thing controlling the internet at the time. No government has control of it. Nobody even know what it is. It is an anomaly at the heart of the deep web that was discovered by super deep web scans in early 2000s. The system is believed to be unresponsive, but it sends out unalterable commands to the entire net randomly. So this was it for the video. If you are more interested to explore these types of videos, write us a comment below. We would love to see your responses. Make sure to like and subscribe Facts Insight. And don't forget to press the bell icon.